Hello everyone, um, I'm back on my phone because my camera's on charge, but I just want to do a quick video where I run a few engines on compressed air using my air compressor. It's going to be running my SP2, followed by my D60 and then my Stuart S50. So I've got the SP2 hooked up to the airline, but of course I need to oil it before I run it. So just give it a few pumps of oil into the cylinder because this really hasn't run in ages. But you can see with this, I've polished up the boiler right now. It's not that horrible black it used to be. It's now a lovely gleaming brass. So just put a bit of lubricant on there. Then just work it through. This might not work because, well, I think that's some, I think the first thing I need to do is turn off a cylinder. But we'll see. Let's put the engine there. Flick it on. We'll see what happens. Come on. Yeah, I can hear the... What it is, it's just pushing it off the port face and also there's a bit of water in there. So I'll drain the water out as much as I can and I'll tighten the cylinder port face up and then I'm going to see if I can get it to run on compressed air. I mean, it runs this, it runs this, it, ru it runs that already. I know, I know it runs that and that, so it should run this, but we'll see. Well, I think I might have fixed it, we'll see. It still moves the port face a bit, but we might be able to get it to run, so let's have it a go. It's certainly trying. Give another go. Nope. We can tell that this is still moving, not, it's still moving poor face. We've got water coming in between it. I'll try to tighten a bit more and I'll see if I can get a bit of water out of it and see if we, that fixes the problem. Hey guys, so I tried to get me a bit more water out, but it's quite. I had I need to get water out of and my I left my big syringe down at the shed. But we'll give it a go. Hmm. It's trying. It's getting a bit closer, but I think it's I think I think all oh, the problem is if I just let's see, if I take the Keep the camera on, but if we just take the piston off like that, take the piston out, and then put compressed air through. I think we'll do water shoot out here. Yeah, see how water keeps coming out. Right, so now the boiler is completely empty. If it doesn't work this time, it's not going to work. So let's go. Here we are. It's not happy, but it's working. Yeah, my SP2 on compressed air. Yeah, we'll have to look into that because that ain't happy on compressed air. It should be, well, not, well, you know, relatively happy. We'll have to look into that. But now, let's try Z16. For those curious, this is what I'm using. It's a compressed air adapter for Mamod for Mamod and Walesco steam engines. So. Getting a bit old this one, so it doesn't work as well, but it works. So now you put this on the D16, and um, just to tighten it up a bit. There we are. And just, yeah, you don't want it too tight because it could stick. But now we put this on the D16. Good idea to get as much of the adapter covered in compressor as possible. And you see, when I put it on here, yeah, the boiler fills up and then hopefully this decent one. It might have a bit of oil in here because I, I tend to put a bit of oil in after every steaming. But I'll just leave, I'll leave this all cracked open and we'll put some compressed air in. And straight away, off it goes very happily. And that's, that's the maximum speed really when you look at compressed air. But so you have a lot of compressed air in there. If I hold that open, there's enough uh, air in there to come out and save off and run the engine. I can feel no leaks. It's very good. Oh. It is leaking a bit at the, at the join here. Let me see if that, will that fix it. Yeah, that's, got, that's, that's fixed it. Oh. oh, the valve slipped on the engine. There we are. 
got to go make sure that joins tight on the air, on the actual compressor itself and I will have to tighten up that Jubilee clip. So I'll tighten up that Jubilee clip and then I'm going to close the valve on the D16 and maybe we shall actually put or lubricate the D16. You put a drop in every of these holes, lubricating holes. Slide valve as well, and the piston rod will be located by the cylinder oil. So that's closed, crack it in a bit there. Engine set, so we should get so we should see it start. There we are. See, so it's working well. There we are. So it's got a good speed to work at. Everything's good. The the um screw on this side of the chimney's broken so it keeps on the chimney keeps falling over but it's alright. There we are. And then what I can do I just turn that off and close that down. If I just put a bit of air in there. There we are. I can get a bit of a tick over, just a tiny bit of a tick over, but a bit of one. There yeah, guys, that is the D16. So now, we go to the Stuart. I've already put some oil in the cylinders. So now I just put a bit in the oil cup here. And my case completely miss it. Put some on the crank. I'm sorry, the, the um, small end, put some on the big end. In the bearings. For the flywheel. The eccentric valve rod, piston rod, and then put a bit more on the eccentric actually to the side there. Work it in. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put a little drop on the side of the, the crossbars just to give the oil cups a helping hand. This one here as well, see. There we are. So now the engine's nice and smooth. Plenty of oil. I'm ready to run. There we are. So now we'll open this valve here. Open it fully so no pipe will, so the pipe won't burst off. Which we'll see the threads on the valve. The threads in the back of the bit. There we are. So now Let's give it some air. And this point we stop because we realise we haven't put a tissue underneath it to stop oil going absolutely everywhere because it will. Now we carry on. Oh. There we are. That's got a bit of a There's a knocking sound. Hear that? Do you know where that's coming from? No, he's making that knocking sound. A bit, put a bit more on this. Um, hang on, let me just have a little listen. Yeah, that's coming from the uh, piston. I'm gonna put a bit more in the piston just to be safe. Yeah. See, with this one, it doesn't retain oil in the cylinder for as long as, say, a Mambod or, or a Walesco would do. Anyway, typically, those the water lubricates, and that's not the case with these. That's why you've got drain cocks, but I'll see. So, it might do a bit of a jolt when it first starts if we hit a bit of oil in there, but it should be okay. Um, obviously, you should be running on the boiler um, with the hydrostatic lubricator, which is what this is here using, but obviously, this doesn't work with air. Just sit, it just sits there. So now, I'll give you some air. Yeah, yeah. That locking there, yeah, that, that locking's gone now. Oh, just hold it down. 
Let's just go, go swim from it. Yeah, that sounds a lot healthier now. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's like in slow motion. Let's find out. 